Welcome back to the ultimate English learning challenge of Learn English Through Story, Episode 3. This confident future podcast isn't just a simple story. It's a confidence-building journey for English learners at all levels. From tricky idioms to advanced grammar, I have filled this one-of-a-kind story with elements to push every viewer out of their comfort zone. I'm Grant, and welcome to my Learn English Through Story, Episode 3, The Power of Listening. If you don't know me, I'm a business English confidence coach, and I do things a different way than most. I'm here to build your confidence and change your life. I want you to feel the powerful freedom of English so that you can do anything you want in your life. As you can see, this is a very long English podcast. If you have not seen episode one and episode two of Learn English Through Story, I recommend, I highly recommend that you watch both of those also. And you can find the links to both of those episodes in the description below this video. And it's okay to watch this episode first. And then you can watch the other two episodes later. It does not matter what order you watch these useful videos in. I made them this way so that you can watch them in any order you want. I have written one story. And I've created three different levels of this one story. The three levels are the basic level, the advanced level, and the eloquent level. The difference between these three levels is really vocabulary. As you increase, so does the difficulty in the vocabulary of this story. I call this the fluency ladder, and I want to help you climb the fluency ladder from the basic level to the advanced level and all the way to the eloquent level. And so I'm a big believer that really difficult challenges in any part of life help build confidence. And this is a really difficult challenge in each of these episodes of Learn English Through Story. It's a very difficult challenge for all levels. Maybe you're a beginner learner of English. The basic English level will be difficult for you. I promise you, it will, it will be a challenge. Maybe you've been learning English for a little while. Well, the advanced level will be very difficult for you. And those of you that have spent a lot of time with English, the eloquent level is always a great challenge. Take your time with these videos. They're very long. And I want you to be able to use these videos to really, really, really build your confidence. I'm going to do a little something different in this episode three. The other two episodes, I went through the basic level, all the vocabulary, the advanced level, all the vocabulary, the eloquent level, all the vocabulary. In this case, I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to read the whole story so that you get an understanding of what the story is about. So I'll read the basic English level full story. Then I've broken this down into 11 paragraphs in each of these three levels of story. So I'm going to go through the basic English level paragraph one, go through the vocabulary of that same basic English level paragraph one, and then we'll go up to the next level, the advanced level, and I'll just read paragraph one, and I'll go through the vocabulary of the advanced level, and then finally, we'll go to the eloquent level of paragraph one, 
and go through the vocabulary of that and then review it. So I'm going to take paragraph one and I'm going to take you through the fluency ladder with each of these 11 paragraphs in these three stories. So that's just a little bit different format. And it's a format I use a lot with my clients. And I think you're going to find it really helpful and really useful so that we see here's the basic level of this paragraph. Then let's go up a little bit. Let's go to the advanced level. Let's make sure we're comfortable with those new vocabulary words. Then let's climb again and go up to the top level, the eloquent level, and become confident using those words. So follow me with this. Try to do this. And I want you to use this and use my deep learning vocabulary method where I want you to say everything with me. Pause the video many, many times. Say everything out loud. I'll walk you through this, but I don't want you just watching this video. I want you to use these videos so that you can speak confidently and naturally. And there's only one way to do that. You must speak. You can't just watch and learn. You got to speak. So follow me as I go through this. Follow this strategy, this technique. It works. I use it with my private clients all the time. At the end of this very long video, I will read the three stories in full. I will not go through any of the vocabulary. I will only read the three stories. So... If you want to only hear me read these three stories, please look at the timestamps in the description below and find the three stories only near the bottom of this video. And there you will hear me presenting these three stories without going into any vocabulary. I'll present the basic English level. I'll go right into the advanced level and I'll finish with the eloquent level. Once again, you can find it in the timestamps. It's right at the end of this video. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's, let the games begin. So this story is about a company called Team Success, which is led by a man named Alex. He sees his team having problems working together, and so he decides to teach them active listening. He shows them how to listen better by making eye contact, nodding, asking questions, and repeating what others say. At first, it's hard, but soon his team really improves. Meetings are shorter, and they make fewer mistakes. In the end, their better listening helps the company become more successful. Now, this is a topic I really believe in. I think listening is the most important skill. I think it's the most important skill for you to build your confidence, is to become a great listener. And so here, we're going to go through not just normal, regular listening, but we're going to go through active listening within the story. So the story has a purpose. Okay, let's begin with a full story from the basic English level. Once upon a time in a small city, there was an establishment named Team Success. This entity was known for its hard-working employees and friendly atmosphere. The company was managed by a man named Alex. Alex was kind and always willing to help his team. One day, Alex noticed that his team was not working as well together as they used to. Meetings were taking longer, and there were misunderstandings about tasks. Alex decided to find out why. He started by listening carefully to his employees. He talked to Sarah, one of his team members. Sarah said, I often feel like no one is really listening to me during meetings. Alex realized that active listening was a problem. He knew he had to fix it to help his team work better. Alex called a meeting and said, I have noticed that we need to improve our listening skills. From now on, we will practice active listening. He explained that active listening means 
paying full attention to the speaker, not interrupting, and asking questions to understand better. To help the team practice, Alex introduced a few techniques. First, eye contact. Look at the person speaking to show you're paying attention. Second, nodding. Nod your head to show you understand. I am nodding my head. Third, asking questions. If you do not understand something, ask a question. And finally, fourth, paraphrasing. Repeat what the speaker said in your own words to make sure you understood correctly. The team started using these techniques in their meetings. At first, it was not easy. Some people were shy and others forgot to use the techniques but Alex reminded them gently. After a few weeks, things started to change. Meetings were shorter and more productive. Team members understood their tasks better and made fewer mistakes. Sarah said, I feel heard now. It, it makes a big difference. One day during a team meeting, Alex asked, can anyone share how active listening has helped them? Mark, another team member, said, I used to miss important details because I was thinking about my reply. Now, I listen fully and ask questions. It has helped me understand my tasks better. The team agreed that active listening had improved their work. They felt more connected and respected. Alex was happy to see the positive changes. He knew that Good communication was the key to a successful team. As time went on, the company continued to grow. The team's improved listening skills helped them achieve great results. They became known not only for their hard work, but also for their excellent communication. Alex's decision to focus on active listening had made a big difference. In the end, Team success truly lived up to its name. They showed that by listening to each other and working together, they could overcome any challenge. And that, dear friends, is the story of how a simple act of listening transformed a company. Okay, so that's the full story at the basic English level. Now what I wanna do is take paragraph one and go through paragraph one from the basic English level, explain the vocabulary that's in that paragraph using my deep learning method, and then go to paragraph one of the advanced level as we climb the ladder of fluency. And then I'll go through and explain the vocabulary in paragraph one at the advanced level. And then next I'll go to the top level, the eloquent level. Stay in paragraph one, go through the vocabulary and help you get confident. So we're gonna stay in paragraph one and climb the ladder of fluency as we go through here. Let's start at the basic English level. The first paragraph was, once upon a time in a small city, there was an establishment named Team Success. This entity, was known for its hard-working employees and friendly atmosphere. The company was managed by a man named Alex. Alex was kind and always willing to help his team. Let's go through the vocabulary in paragraph one that I highlighted that I think many of you at the basic English level will need. Some of the rest of you may also need this. If you're at a higher level, you can move forward. Use the timestamps that are in this below this video, and there'll be a lot of timestamps for this video, but use them so that you can move forward to where you feel most comfortable. But let's go through these vocabulary words using my deep learning method from the first paragraph of the basic English level story. Establishment. It means a business or organization. In the story, it was used in this sentence. Once upon a time in a small city, 
there was an establishment named Team Success. You could use it in an example sentence this way. The restaurant is a popular establishment in the neighborhood. Now, using my deep learning method, if you haven't done this with me before, I want you to repeat all of this out loud. Shadow me. Use all of this. Listen to me and do some shadow English speaking practice with me. Say this out loud. I want you to use these videos to be able to start speaking confidently. I say it, you listen, you say it. And say it with confidence. Say it at least twice. And get these words to come out. That's what I want you to do with all of this vocabulary so that you will become comfortable saying it, speaking English, not learning it, not just reading it or listening to it. I want you speaking. Use these videos. They're a great tool for your confidence. Okay, the next word is entity. An entity means something that exists as a single or complete unit, especially a business. In the story, it was used in this sentence. This entity was known for its hard working employees and friendly atmosphere. An example sentence could be, the new company became a successful entity in the tech industry. As you see, I've included an example sentence that has nothing to do with the story, but just shows you how you could use each of these vocabulary words in a different way. Let's move to the next vocabulary word, atmosphere, pronounced atmosphere. It means the feeling or mood in a place. In the story, it was used as this entity was known for its hard-working employees and friendly atmosphere. An example sentence could be, the office had a welcoming atmosphere that made everyone feel comfortable. Willing to. Willing to means ready or eager to do something. In the story, it was used this way. Alex was kind and always willing to help his team. A different example sentence could be, she was willing to stay late to finish the project. Now we've gone through the vocabulary words in paragraph one at the basic English level. So now let's read paragraph one at the advanced level. And then we'll go through those vocabulary words. So this paragraph at the advanced level is, In a bustling city, there was a company named Team Success. This organization was renowned for its diligent employees and congenial atmosphere. The company was overseen by Alex, a considerate manager who was always ready to assist his team. As you can see, the vocabulary has already increased in difficulty as we have gone from the basic English level to the advanced level. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through paragraph one on all three of these levels and go through the vocabulary so that you can then say these. Let's go through the vocabulary. Paragraph one from the advanced English level. Okay. Here's our vocabulary for the advanced level in the first paragraph. Bustling. I'm giving you my Grant's crazy pronunciation guide here. And this is the way I feel this works. So bustling. bus -ling. Bustling. Bustling. It means full of energetic activity. In the story, it was used in this sentence. In a bustling city, there was a company named Team Success. Another example sentence could be, the bustling office was filled with employees meeting deadlines. Renowned. Re, now, n, d. Renowned. Renowned. It means well-known or famous for something positive. In the story, 
it was here. This organization was renowned for its diligent employees. Another example could be the company is renowned for its customer service. Okay. Those of you that haven't seen my videos before, I'm a big believer in my deep learning method for vocabulary. And this is exactly how it works. I give you a great business word. In this case, renowned. I show you how to pronounce it. I pronounce it. I give you the definition of it in a business context. In this case, I show you how it was used in the story. I give you an example sentence. I want you to say all of this out loud with me. Get these words to come out of your mouth. This is not about learning vocabulary. You want to build your confidence. Use this stuff. Say it. Say it at least twice until you're confident with it. If you really want to make it work, Make your own example sentence and say that out loud and say all of this at least twice. When you do that, then you're not just learning, you're deep learning. If you say these words, the goal is to help you become confident, speaking English, getting the words to come out of your mouth. So that's my deep learning method. I want you to spend hours and hours in this video going through this with all of these vocabulary words that you don't know, that you've never said before. Take your time. Go slow. And you will go fast toward confidence. Okay? I want you to do that. I want you to be pausing this video, saying all these things out loud. Let's continue. Diligent. Dil-i-gent. Diligent. It means hardworking and careful. In the story, it was used here. This organization was renowned for its diligent employees. An example sentence could be, diligent employees are crucial to the company's success. Congenial. <laughs> con gene e o Congenial. Congenial. It's a terrible looking word, but that's what it sounds like. Congenial. It means, it's a really nice word. It means pleasant and friendly. In the story, again, in this sentence, this organization was renowned for its diligent employees and congenial atmosphere. Another sentence could be, the congenial workplace fostered strong team collaboration. Overseen. Sounds just like it looks. Overseen. Overseen it means supervised or managed. In the story, it was used in this sentence. The company was overseen by Alex, a considerate manager. An example sentence could also be, the project was overseen by the department head. Considerate. Con, sid, her, it. Now you're going to notice there's a lot of words in English that end in A, T, E, and they are not pronounced with eight at the end. So this is not considerate. It's considerate. And there's lots of words like this. I don't know why. English is crazy. But it's considerate. It means thoughtful and concerned about others. In the story, it was used in this sentence. Alex, a considerate manager who was always ready to assist his team. An example sentence could be, the manager's considerate approach improved team morale. Assist. A-sist. Assist. Assist, to help or support. In the story, again, in this sentence, Alex, a considerate manager who was always ready to assist his team. An example could be, the team leader is always available to assist with tasks. Okay, now that we've gone through what these words mean, the pronunciation of it, you've said all these things out loud, let's go back to this paragraph one in the advanced level. And now I want you to say it. Now I want you to feel the confidence from this. So here's this paragraph again. Say it with me. In a bustling city, there was a company named Team Success. 
This organization was renowned for its diligent employees and congenial atmosphere. The company was overseen by Alex, a considerate manager who was always ready to assist his team. You see how that works together? You go through it the first time, and it's probably difficult. Lots of new words in there. I show you my deep learning method. You say it all with me. You come back and say this paragraph, and your confidence builds. Okay, let's move on and climb the ladder of fluency. We did the basic level. We did the advanced level. Now, let's climb to the eloquent level. Here's the first paragraph in the eloquent level. In a vibrant metropolis, there was a company called Team Success. This enterprise was celebrated for its industrious employees and congenial ambiance. The company was led by Alex, a benevolent manager who was perpetually willing to support his team. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of new words in here. These should be difficult for you. So let's go through my deep learning method with the vocabulary in this first paragraph for the eloquent level. Okay? Vibrant. Vibe. Rent. Vibrant. Vibrant means full of energy, life, or activity. In the story, it was used in this sentence. In a vibrant metropolis, there was a company called Team Success. Another example could be the vibrant office culture motivated employees to innovate and collaborate. Enterprise. Enter. Prize. Enterprise. has a number of meanings, but here it means a business or company. That's all. In the story, it was this enterprise was celebrated for its industrious employees and congenial ambiance. Another example could be the enterprise expanded rapidly due to its innovative product lines. Celebrated for. <laughs> Look at this crazy pronunciation guy. Cell a ray tid. Celebrated. Celebrated. Celebrated for. It means known and praised for a particular quality. In the story, again, in this sentence. This enterprise was celebrated for its industrious employees and congenial ambiance. Another example could be the company is celebrated for its exceptional customer service. Industrious. I like this word. In, dust, tree, us. Industrious. Industrious. Terrible looking word, but that's what it sounds like. Industrious. Hardworking and diligent is what it means. In the story, again, in this sentence, this enterprise was celebrated for its industrious employees and congenial ambiance. Another example could be the industrious team met every deadline ahead of schedule. Congenial. <laughs> this is such a nice word. Crazy looking, but very nice. Con, gene, e, o. Congenial. Congenial. It means pleasant, friendly, and enjoyable. In the story, it was used in this sentence. This enterprise was celebrated for its industrious employees and congenial ambiance. Another example could be the congenial work environment made employees feel comfortable and valued. Ambiance. Ambiance. I love my crazy pronunciation guide for this word. Ambiance. <laughs> you just slowly go through it with me. That's how it sounds. Ambiance. Ambiance. It means the character or atmosphere of a place. In the story, again, in this sentence, this enterprise was celebrated for its industrious employees and congenial ambiance. Another example could be the cafe's warm ambiance attracted many business meetings. Benevolent. <laughs> Such a kind word. Ben, nev, o, lent. Benevolent. Benevolent. It means kind and well-meaning. In the story, it was in this sentence. 
The company was led by Alex, a benevolent manager who was perpetually willing to support his team. Another example could be the benevolent CEO often rewarded employees for their hard work. Perpetually. Per at chu li. Perpetually. Perpetually. It means continuously or constantly. In the story, it was again in this sentence. The company was led by Alex, a benevolent manager who was perpetually willing to support his team. Another example could be she was perpetually focused on improving customer satisfaction. There's all the words, all the definitions. Again, I want you to go through my deep learning method. I gave you the words, gave you the pronunciation, showed you how it was used in the story. I gave you an example sentence. I would love it if you would make your own sentence and say all of this out loud at least twice. Get the words to come out of your mouth. Pause this video a million times and use this. Build your confidence. Now, let's go back and read this paragraph again. And I think it will make sense for you. So the paragraph is, in a vibrant metropolis, there was a company called Team Success. This enterprise was celebrated for its industrious employees and congenial ambiance. The company was led by Alex, a benevolent manager who was perpetually willing to support his team. That's how we're gonna go through this video. Climb this ladder of fluency. I gave you the first paragraph from the basic level. Then I gave you the definitions, went through my deep learning method of the vocabulary. Climb to the advanced level for the same paragraph. Again, go through the deep learning method. Get these words to come out of your mouth, not mine. This is not about listening. It's about using this video to speak. And then say that paragraph again. And then it starts to make sense because it's the same story, right? Now we climb again to the eloquent level. Go through that vocabulary, become comfortable and confident with it, and say it again. You already know what this paragraph means, but now you can start using these words and become confident. So that's what we're gonna do throughout this whole long video. So I'm gonna go through paragraph by paragraph and climb the ladder of fluency from the basic English level, to climb up to the advanced level, and finally to the eloquent level. We're gonna go through all of this vocabulary, a super long video, but take your time with this. It'll really improve your confidence. Okay, let's go on to the second paragraph. Let's go back to the basic English level. Are you ready? One day, Alex noticed that his team was not working as well together as they used to. Meetings were taking longer. And there were misunderstandings about tasks. Alex decided to find out why. He started by listening carefully to his employees. Let's go through this vocabulary for those of you that need the vocabulary for your basic English level. Let's go through that. The rest of you, use the timestamps and you can move ahead. Okay, here we go. Here's the vocabulary. Misunderstandings. Misunderstandings. Misunderstandings means failures to understand something correctly. In the story, it was in this sentence. There were misunderstandings about tasks. Another example could be misunderstandings between the team members cause delays in the project. Task, task, <laughs> long S, long K, task, task. It means something to be done. In the story, it was used in this sentence. There were misunderstandings about tasks. And an example sentence could be, everyone needs to complete their tasks on time. To find out the phrasal verb, and it means to discover or learn something. In the story, it was Alex decided to find out why. An example sentence could be, she needs to find out more about the client's needs. 
Great. Now, if you're at the basic English level, go back, read that first paragraph. The rest of us are going to move on. Climb the ladder of fluency, go to the advanced level on this second paragraph. Here we go. One day, Alex observed a decline in the team's collaboration. Meetings were becoming prolonged, and task misunderstandings were increasing. Alex resolved to investigate the cause. He began by attentively listening to his employees. Now let's go through my deep learning method and try to figure out what all of these words mean. But it's not just for you to learn. Again, I want you to say this with me. Say all of these things out loud. Then they become very natural and common for you, and you'll build your confidence. Okay, let's go through my deep learning method for the vocabulary in this paragraph. Observed. 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 It means noticed or saw. In the story, it was used in this sentence. One day, Alex observed a decline in the team's collaboration. Another example could be, the manager observed a decrease in productivity. Decline. Now, I, I know it starts with a D-E, but it, when I say it and when I hear it, it's like a duh, decline. The, the decline of uh, our sales is troubling. So decline, and it doesn't really look like that, but that's certainly the way I pronounce it. It means the re a reduction or decrease in something. In the story, it was used here, Alex observed a decline in the team's collaboration. Another example would be the decline in sales was concerning to the board. Collaboration. co lab o Ray Shun. Collaboration. Collaboration it means working together to achieve a goal. In the story, it was used here. Alex observed a decline in the team's collaboration. Another example is effective collaboration is key to project success. Prolonged. Prolonged. <laughs> Prolonged. Prolonged. It means lasting longer than usual. In the story, it was here. Meetings were becoming prolonged, and task misunderstandings were increasing. Another example is the prolonged meeting delayed the project's progress. Resolved. 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 It means decided to find a solution. In the story, it was here. Alex resolved to investigate the cause. Another example could be, she resolved to address the issue immediately. Investigate. 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 I don't know why that I is there. I don't pronounce the I when I say it, so investigate. It means to look into or examine something closely. In the story, it was here. Alex resolved to investigate the cause. An example sentence could be, the team was asked to investigate the problem. Cause. <laughs> you, when you put a U in a word, it makes everybody crazy. So I think of caw. Bird, a crow would make a caw, 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 and then a bunch of S's. Cause, cause. The reason something happens is the meaning. In the story, it was Alex resolved to investigate the cause. Another example could be identifying the cause of the issue is crucial. Attentively, attentively. Attentively, attentively, attentively it means with careful attention. In the story, it was used here. He began by attentively listening to his employees. 
Another example could be the manager listened attentively to the team's concerns. We have gone through the vocabulary in the second paragraph in the advanced level. Let's go and read that paragraph again so that we can use these words that we just used, my deep learning method on, and this paragraph will feel a lot better. Okay, let's read this paragraph again. Paragraph two from the advanced level. One day, Alex observed a decline in the team's collaboration. Meetings were becoming prolonged, and task misunderstandings were increasing. Alex resolved to investigate the cause. He began by attentively listening to his employees. Now that should feel a lot better. <laughs> now, let's climb the ladder of fluency. And get up there to that eloquent level. First, I'll read the paragraph from the eloquent level, the same paragraph that we've been going through, <laughs> but just on the eloquent level. And then we'll go through my deep learning method for each of the vocabulary words in that paragraph. Are you ready? One day, Alex discerned a sharp decline in the team's synergy. Meetings were extending unduly, and misunderstandings regarding tasks were escalating. Alex resolved the underlying issue. He commenced by meticulously listening to his employees. There should be a number of words that all of you would have difficulty in in this paragraph. Let's go through my deep learning method and make these feel really comfortable and increase your confidence. Here we go. Sharp. Sharp is pronounced sharp. And sharp has many different meanings. Here's one definition in business. It means happening suddenly or quickly. In the story, it was used in this sentence. One day, Alex discerned a sharp decline in the team's synergy. An example sentence could be, there was a sharp drop in the company's profits last year. Discerned. Dis, sir, mm, d. Discerned. Discerned. It's a good word. It means recognized or identified something, especially after careful thought. In the story, it was used here. One day, Alex discerned a sharp decline in the team's synergy. Another example could be the manager discerned a need for additional training among the staff. Teams synergy. Teams synergy. Teams synergy. Many of you might know this word, but lots of you have difficulty with the pronunciation. So team synergy. It means the collaborative energy and effectiveness of a team working together. In the story, it was used again in this sentence, Alex discerned a sharp decline in the team's synergy. Another example could be the team's synergy was evident in their seamless project execution. Great sentence. Unduly. Unduly. It means more than is reasonable or acceptable. In the story, it was used as part of this sentence. Meetings were extending unduly. An example sentence could be, he believes this approach would unduly harm revenue. Escalating. 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 It means increasing or intensifying, often in a negative way. In the story, it was used here. Meetings were extending unduly, and misunderstandings regarding tasks were escalating. Another example could be the escalating tensions required immediate intervention from the HR department. Commenced. 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 It means started or began. In the story, it was used here. He commenced by meticulously listening to his employees. An example could be the training session commenced with an introduction from the team leader. Meticulously. What a great word. Follow my pronunciation. Ma, tick, you, less, li. 
meticulously. Meticulously. <laughs> it's a great word. It, it means in a way that shows great attention to detail. In the story, it was used here. He commenced by meticulously listening to his employees. An example could be, the report was meticulously prepared, leaving no detail overlooked. All right, now, <laughs> let's read this paragraph again. <laughs> okay, here we are. The eloquent level, paragraph two. You know these words, you know the pronunciation. Now say it with me, with confidence. One day, Alex discerned a sharp decline in the team's synergy. Meetings were extending unduly, and misunderstandings regarding tasks were escalating. Alex resolved the underlying issue. He commenced by meticulously listening to his employees. <laughs> I want you to say this out loud, please. That's what this video is for. Okay, let's go back to the basic English level, paragraph three. And then we'll climb the ladder of fluency, do the basic level, do the advanced level, and do the eloquent level. Here we go. Paragraph three, the basic level. He talked to Sarah, one of the team members. Sarah said, I often feel like no one is really listening to me during meetings. Alex realized that active listening was a problem. He knew he had to fix it to help his team work better. Now, here's a paragraph where I didn't choose any words to talk about. So in paragraph three of the basic level, this is it. Let's take this, climb the ladder of fluency, go to the advanced level and go through paragraph three. Paragraph three of the advanced level. He conversed with Sarah, one of the team members. Sarah expressed, I frequently feel that no one truly listens to me during meetings. Alex realized that the issue stemmed from poor active listening. He recognized the necessity of addressing this issue to enhance team performance. There should be a number of words for all of you in this paragraph three of the advanced level. So let's go through my deep learning method and go through these words so they can become comfortable and you can become confident saying them and using them. Here we go. Conversed, 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 conversed. It means talked or discussed. In the story, it was used in this sentence. He conversed with Sarah, one of the team members. Another example could be, they conversed about the project's timeline. Expressed. Here's one of those words that I feel ends in a T, not a D. X pressed, expressed. That's what I feel when I say it. I know it doesn't look right. It means communicated or conveyed a thought or feeling. In the story, it was used in this sentence. Sarah expressed, I frequently feel that no one truly listens to me. Another example could be, she expressed her concerns during the meeting. Frequently, free, went Lee frequently frequently <laughs> doesn't look anything like that in the spelling but that's the way I pronounce it it means often or regularly in the story it was used here Sarah expressed I frequently feel that no one truly listens here's another example he frequently checks in with his team to ensure progress truly true Lee, truly. It means genuinely or really. In the story, it was used as part of this sentence. I frequently feel that no one truly listens to me. Another example could be, she truly believes in the company's mission. Stemmed. Stem? D -d 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 -d. Stemmed. <laughs> it means originated or started from like a plant or a flower. In the story, 
It was used in this sentence. Alex realized that the issue stemmed from poor active listening. Another example could be the problem stemmed from a lack of communication. Recognized. 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 It means acknowledged or identified. The story? It was used in part of this sentence. He recognized the necessity of addressing this issue. Another example could be, the CEO recognized the need for change. Necessity. Ness, ses, it, t. Necessity. Necessity. You know necessary. And so this is the noun of necessity. And it means something that is essential or required or necessary. In the story, it was used as part of this sentence. He recognized the necessity of addressing this issue. Another example could be the necessity of clear communication cannot be overstated. Addressing. Ad dressing. Addressing. Addressing has different meanings, so that's why I'm pointing it out here and including it in this paragraph. It means dealing with or tackling an issue. In the story, it was used as part of this sentence. He recognized the necessity of addressing this issue. Another example could be, the team is addressing the challenges head on. Enhance, enhance, enhance. It means to improve or make better. In the story, it was in this sentence. He recognized the necessity of addressing this issue to enhance team performance. Another example could be training can enhance employees' skills. There, we've gone through all the different deep learning method for paragraph three in the advanced level. Now let's read paragraph three again. You know these words now given you the pronunciation, the meaning of these. So now I want you to say these out loud with me and see if it feels better this time as we go through it. So here's paragraph three of the advanced level again. He conversed with Sarah, one of the team members. Sarah expressed, I frequently feel that no one truly listens to me during meetings. Alex realized that the issues stemmed from poor active listening. He recognized the necessity of addressing this issue to enhance team performance. Again, say this out loud with me. Don't just watch this video. Don't just listen to it. Please use it. Use it. To say these difficult words. Put these difficult sentences and paragraphs together. Okay? Now let's continue to climb the ladder of fluency. We started the basic level on paragraph three. We went to the advanced level. Now let's go to the eloquent level and see what we find. Paragraph three of the eloquent level. He engaged in a dialogue with Sarah, one of the team members. Sarah articulated, I often perceive that no one genuinely listens to me during meetings. Alex recognized that the crux of the issue was inadequate active listening. He understood that rectifying this was imperative to augment the efficiency and efficacy of the team. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Eloquent level. Let's go through my deep learning method for each of these words in paragraph three of the eloquent level. Dialogue. Die a log. Dialogue. Dialogue means a conversation between two or more people. In the story, it was used in this sentence. He engaged in a dialogue with Sarah, one of the team members. Another example could be open dialogue between departments, improved overall communication. Articulated. <laughs> Articulated. 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 It means expressed or explained clearly. In the story, it was part of this sentence. 
Sarah articulated, I often perceive that no one genuinely listens to me during meetings. Another example could be, the manager articulated the new policy changes during the meeting. Perceive, her, see, v, <laughs> perceive. Perceive, it means to become aware of or understand something. In the story, it was used in this sentence. Sarah articulated, I often perceive that no one genuinely listens to me during meetings. An example sentence could be, employees perceive the new bonus structure as fair and motivating. Genuinely. I love my crazy pronunciation guide for this. Jen, you, win, Lee. Genuinely. Genuinely. It means truly or sincerely. In the story, it was used in this sentence. Sarah articulated, I often perceive that no one genuinely listens to me during meetings. Another example could be, he genuinely cares about the well-being of his employees. Crux. Sounds like ducks, but with a crook at the beginning. So, crux. <laughs> Say ducks first. Ducks and then crux. And I think it'll be really helpful. So, crux. It's a really good word. The crux of something. The definition of this is the most important or central point of an issue. In the story, it was used here. Alex recognized that the crux of the issue was inadequate active listening. Another example could be the crux of the problem was a lack of clear communication. Inadequate. In, ad, a, quit. Inadequate. I know it ends in A-T-E, but it ends in like it. Inadequate. It means not sufficient and not enough. In the story, it was used here. Alex recognized that the crux of the issue was inadequate active listening. Another example could be the inadequate resources led to delays in the project. Rectifying. 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 Rectifying means correcting or fixing something. In the story, it was used here. He understood that rectifying this was imperative to augment the efficiency and efficacy of the team. Another example could be the IT team is rectifying the network issues to prevent future disruptions. Imperative. M -er -a -tiv. Imperative. Imperative means essential, crucial, or important. In the story, it was used here. He understood that rectifying this was imperative to augment the efficiency and efficacy of the team. Another example could be, it is imperative to meet the deadline to secure the client contract. Augment. Doesn't sound like it looks. Augment. Augment. To augment something, to increase or enhance something. In the story, it was used here. He understood that rectifying this was imperative to augment the efficiency and efficacy of the team. Another example could be, the new software was implemented to augment productivity. I hope you are saying this sentence with me. <laughs> it's got all these great words in it. Efficacy. F -e -c -c. Efficacy. Efficacy. It means the ability to produce a desired result or effect. In the story, it was used again. And this is a great sentence. He understood that rectifying this was imperative to augment the efficiency and efficacy of the team. Another example could be the efficacy of the new strategy was evident in the improved sales figures. Okay, we got through my deep learning method. Now let's get back up there again. And let's go through this paragraph and see how this feels. Now we know all these words. 
we know how to pronounce them. We know what they mean. So we can all do this. We can all say this paragraph with confidence. Say it with me. Say it out loud. He engaged in a dialogue with Sarah, one of the team members. Sarah articulated, I often perceive that no one genuinely listens to me during meetings. Alex recognized that the crux of the issue was inadequate active listening. He understood that rectifying this was imperative to augment the efficiency and efficacy of the team. Pause that video. Say that out loud. You can do this. Challenge yourself. Okay, let's move on. Let's go back down to the basic English level. Let's do paragraph four and climb that ladder of fluency. Here we are at the basic level. This is paragraph four. Alex called a meeting and said, I have noticed that we need to improve our listening skills. From now on, we will practice active listening. He explained that active listening means paying full attention to the speaker, not interrupting and asking questions to understand better. Let's take a look at a few of these vocabulary words that are in paragraph four. Okay, so there's two words here in the basic level. Let's talk about paying attention to. And it sounds just like it looks, paying attention to. It's a phrasal verb that many of you know, but some of you at the basic level might not know paying attention to. And it means focusing on something or someone. In the story, it was used here. Active listening means paying attention to the speaker. An example sentence could be, he was not paying attention to the instructions and made a mistake. Interrupting. In, ter, up, teen. Interrupting. Interrupting. It means stopping someone from speaking by speaking yourself. In the story, it was used here. Active listening means paying full attention to the speaker, not interrupting. Another example could be interrupting during a meeting can lead to misunderstandings. Let's go through this paragraph four again at the basic level. Alex called a meeting and said, I have noticed that we need to improve our listening skills. From now on, we will practice active listening. He explained that active listening means paying full attention to the speaker, not interrupting, and asking questions to understand better. Super. Now, Let's climb our ladder of fluency. Let's go from the basic English level to the advanced level. Let's go to paragraph four. Here's paragraph four of the advanced level. Alex convened a meeting and stated, I have observed that we need to improve our listening skills. From this point forward, we will engage in the practice of active listening. He explained that Active listening involves fully concentrating on the speaker, avoiding interruptions, and asking questions for clarity. Let's take a little time, go through my deep learning method, and really become confident and comfortable with these words. If you feel that you 100% are confident with these, use the timestamps and move forward to paragraph four of the eloquent level. But for almost all of you, I would love for you to stay here and go through these vocabulary words with me. Here's paragraph four of the advanced level. Convened. 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 It means called together for a meeting. In the story, it was used in this part of a sentence. Alex convened a meeting and stated... Another example could be the committee convened to discuss the proposal. Stated. Stated has different meanings, so this is a really good word. Stated. Stated. It means declared or expressed in words. In the story, it was used in this part of a sentence. Alex convened a meeting and stated... 
Another example could be the manager stated the new company policy. From this point forward, there's nothing hard about the pronunciation here. It's just a really good phrase that most all of you would never say. So I want you to say this with me. From this point forward, it means starting now and continuing into the future. In the story, it was used this way. From this point forward, we will engage in the practice of active listening. Another example could be, from this point forward, the team will follow the new guidelines. Engage in. N -g -a -j -in. Engage in. Engage in. Engage in. It means uh, to participate in or be involved in something. In the story, it was used this way. We will engage in the practice of active listening. An example could be, the team will engage in a brainstorming session. Practice of. Practice of. Practice of. Another good phrase. And it means the repeated exercise of an activity to improve a skill. In the story, it was used in this sentence. We will engage in the practice of active listening. An example sentence could be, the practice of daily meetings improved communication. Concentrating. 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 Concentrating means focusing all attention on something. In the story, it was used here. Active listening involves fully concentrating on the speaker. Another example could be concentrating on the task at hand is essential for success. Avoiding. 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 It means staying away from or not doing something. In the story, it was used in this sentence. Active listening involves avoiding interruptions. An example could be avoiding distractions can improve productivity. Interruptions. 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 It means something that stops or breaks the continuity of a process. In the story, it was used in this sentence. Active listening involves avoiding interruptions. An example could be frequent interruptions can disrupt workflow. Clarity. Clarity. Clair -ity. Clarity. Clarity means clearness or lucidity. Ooh, look up that word. It means clarity. Clarity means clearness or lucidity and understanding. In the story, it was used here. Active listening involves asking questions for clarity. An example could be the manager provided clarity on the project's objectives. That's the deep learning method going through the vocabulary on the advanced level for paragraph four. Now let's go back up and go through this paragraph four again in the advanced level, because now if you did this with me, you should be very comfortable with these words, with the pronunciation, the definition, how to use them. So let's use them. Say this out loud with me. Paragraph four of the advanced level. Alex convened a meeting and stated, I have observed that we need to improve our listening skills. From this point forward, we will engage in the practice of active listening. He explained that active listening involves fully concentrating on the speaker, avoiding interruptions, and asking questions for clarity. Now that should feel great at this point. Say it again and again until it does feel great. Now, let's climb to that final level, the eloquent level, and go through paragraph four in the eloquent level. Here it is, <laughs> paragraph four in the eloquent level. Alex convened a meeting and declared, I have discerned that 
we must refine our listening skills. Henceforth, we shall practice active listening. He shed light on the fact that active listening entails wholly concentrating on the speaker, refraining from interruptions, and posing questions to ensure clarity. Now, let's dive deep using my deep learning method into the vocabulary for paragraph four in the eloquent level. Discerned. Dis earned. Discerned. Discerned. A really good word. It means recognized or detected something. In the story, it was used in this sentence. Alex convened a meeting and declared, I have discerned that we must refine our listening skills. Another example could be, she discerned a need for better communication tools within the team. Henceforth. This is an older term. I don't use very much. Your lawyers use it a lot, though. And it's pronounced henceforth. And it means from this time forward, going forward. So in the story, it was used this way. Henceforth, we shall practice active listening. Another example could be, henceforth, all reports will be submitted digitally. To shed light on something. This is a really good phrase. It's pronounced shed light on. So to shed light on something. It means to clarify or explain something. He shed light on the fact that active listening entails wholly concentrating on the speaker. Another example could be the presentation shed light on the challenges facing the company. You should get to know this term. It's fantastic. Entails. And tails. Entails. <laughs> doesn't mean what you think it means. <laughs> it means involves or requires as a necessary part. In the story, it was here. He shed light on the fact that active listening entails wholly concentrating on the speaker. Another example sentence could be, the project entails collaboration between multiple departments. Holy. Whole. Lee. Holy. It means completely or fully. In the story, it was used again here. Active listening entails wholly concentrating on the speaker, refraining from interruptions and posing questions. Another example could be, she was wholly dedicated to improving the team's performance. Refraining from. Refraining from. Refraining from. It means avoiding or not doing something. In the story, it was used in the sentence. Active listening entails refraining from interruptions and posing questions to ensure clarity. Another example could be the manager emphasized refraining from interruptions during team meetings. Posing. 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 It means asking or presenting a question or a statement. In the story, it was used this way. Active listening entails posing questions to ensure clarity. Another example could be, he began the meeting by posing a question to the team. Ensure. And sure. Ensure. It means to make certain that something happens. In the story, it was used here. Posing questions to ensure clarity. An example sentence could be, we must ensure that all tasks are completed before the deadline. Okay, <laughs> we went through my deep learning method for paragraph four of the eloquent level. Now, uh, let's take those words. If you took your time and you went through this with me, and you said all of this out loud, well, now we should be able to go back to this paragraph and say it out loud, and it should make a lot of sense. We've seen what this paragraph means at the basic level, at the advanced level, and here we are at the eloquent level. So let's use these words. Say it with me. Here we go. Alex convened a meeting and declared, I have discerned that we must refine our listening skills. Henceforth, we shall practice active listening.
he shed light on the fact that active listening entails wholly concentrating on the speaker, refraining from interruptions, and posing questions to ensure clarity. <laughs> Pause the video. Say it again. Say it many times. Get your confidence up there where it needs to be. Now, let's go back down to the basic English level and go through paragraph five and climb that ladder of fluency together. Here we are at the basic English level. Paragraph five. Let's the, let the story continue. To help the team practice, Alex introduced a few techniques. One, eye contact. Look at the person speaking to show you are paying attention. Two, nod in. Nod your head to show you understand. Number three, asking questions. If you do not understand something, ask a question. Number four, paraphrasing. Repeat what the speaker said in your own words to make sure you understood correctly. That's the basic English level. Let's look at a few of these words. Some of you might not be comfortable with all of them. So let's go through these vocabulary words in paragraph five of the basic English level. Introduced. In, tro, deuced. Introduced. It means brought something into use for the first time. In the story, it was used this way. Alex introduced a few techniques. Another example could be, the manager introduced a new system to improve efficiency. Technique, 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 technique. I like the spelling in my pronunciation guide. So technique means a method or a way of doing something. In the story, it was used this way. Alex introduced a few techniques. Another example could be, she learned a new technique to organize her tasks better. Eye contact. Nothing difficult about the pronunciation, but looking at somebody's eyes. So it means looking directly into someone's eyes when speaking. In the story, it was used this way. Eye contact. Look at the person speaking to show you are paying attention. Another example could be, making eye contact during a conversation shows you are engaged. Nodding, nod in. This is nodding, the movement of my head. Nodding, moving your head up and down to show understanding or agreement. In the story, it was used here. Nodding, nod your head to show you understand. Okay. Another example could be nodding during a discussion helps show that you are following along. Yes, yes. Paraphrasing. Pair a phrasing. Paraphrasing. Paraphrasing. It means restating someone's words in your own words. In the story, it was used this way. Paraphrasing. Repeat what the speaker said in your own words. That's what it means. Another example could be paraphrasing helps confirm that you understood the instructions correctly. That's the deep learning method going through paragraph five of the basic level. Let's move on and go to paragraph five of the advanced level. To facilitate this, Alex introduced several techniques. Number one, eye contact. Maintain eye contact to demonstrate attentiveness. Number two, nodding. Nod to indicate understanding. Number three, asking questions. Inquire if something is unclear. Number four, paraphrasing. Restate the speaker's words in your own words to confirm understanding. So that's the advanced level of paragraph five. 
Now let's take some time and go into some of these words with my deep learning method and become comfortable with this vocabulary in paragraph five of the advanced level. Facilitate. 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 To facilitate. To make an action or process easier. In the story, it was used here. To facilitate this, Alex introduced several techniques. An example could be technology can facilitate remote teamwork. Demonstrate. Dem un straight. Demonstrate. Demonstrate means to show or exhibit something clearly. In the story, it was used here. Maintain eye contact to demonstrate attentiveness. An example could be, he demonstrated his skills during the presentation. Attentiveness. A tent tiveness. Attentiveness. Attentiveness. Attentiveness means the quality of paying close attention. In the story, it was used this way. Maintain eye contact to demonstrate attentiveness. An example could be attentiveness during meetings leads to better outcomes. Indicate. In the Kate. Indicate. Indicate it means to show or signal something. In the story, it was used here. Nod to indicate understanding. An example could be, she nodded to indicate her agreement. Inquire. 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 It means to ask for information. In the story, it was used this way. Ask questions to inquire if something is unclear. An example could be, he inquired about the details of the new policy. Restate. 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 It means to say something again or in a different way. In the story, it was used this way. Restate the speaker's words in your own words to confirm understanding. An example could be, she restated the key points to ensure everyone understood. Confirm. 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 It means to establish the truth or correctness of something. In the story, it was used this way. Restate the speaker's words to confirm understanding. An example could be, the manager confirmed the deadline with the client. Okay, we got through paragraph five <laughs> with my deep learning method. And we went through the vocabulary. Let's go back and reread paragraph five of the advanced level and see how it feels now after going through this. So here's paragraph five again. To facilitate this, Alex introduced several techniques. Eye, number one, eye contact. Maintain eye contact to demonstrate attentiveness. Number two, nodding. Nod to indicate understanding. Number three, asking questions. Inquire if something is unclear. Number four, paraphrasing. Restate the speaker's words in your own words to confirm understanding. Now again, I want you to say all of this out loud with me. Take your time with this video. I know it's super long, but use it. Use it to help. Now let's climb to that highest level on the ladder of fluency up to the eloquent level. Paragraph five. To aid in this endeavor, Alex brought up several techniques. One, sustained eye contact. Maintain continuous eye contact to demonstrate your undivided attention and engagement. Number two, affirmative nodding. Employ nodding to convey understanding and acknowledgement of the speaker's points. Number three, inquisitive questioning. Formulate and pose questions to clarify any uncertainties and deepen comprehension. And number four, paraphrasing. 
Articulate the speaker's message in your own words to verify and reinforce your understanding. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> into my deep learning method and go through these great vocabulary words from paragraph five of the eloquent level. Endeavor, N dev er, endeavor. Endeavor means an effort or attempt to achieve something. In the story, it was used here. To aid in this endeavor, Alex brought up several techniques. Another example could be, the new marketing campaign is a significant endeavor for the company. Brought up, here's a phrasal verb, brought up. It means mentioned or introduced a topic. In the story, it was used here. Alex brought up several techniques. An example could be, during the meeting, he brought up the need for better time management. Sustained. 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 Sustained means maintained or kept up continuously. In the story, it was used here. Sustained eye contact. Maintain continuous eye contact to demonstrate your undivided attention and engagement. An example could be the leader sustained focus throughout the challenging project. I hope you're able to sustain your focus during this super long video. Continuous, 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 continuous means uninterrupted or ongoing. In the story, it was used here. Sustained eye contact, maintain continuous eye contact to demonstrate your undivided attention and engagement. An example could be continuous feedback helps employees improve their performance. Affirmative, a firm, a tiv, affirmative, affirmative. It means showing agreement or positive response. In the story, it was used here. Affirmative nodding. Employ nodding to convey understanding and acknowledgement of the speaker's points. An example could be, the team leader gave an affirmative response to the proposal. Convey. 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 Convey means to communicate or express something. In the story, it was used here. Employ nodding to convey understanding and acknowledgement of the speaker's points. Another example could be, the email was intended to convey the urgency of the situation. Inquisitive. 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 It means showing curiosity or asking questions. In the story, it was used here. Inquisitive questioning. Formulate and pose questions to clarify any uncertainties and deepen comprehension. An example could be the inquisitive intern asked insightful questions during the presentation. Formulate. Form, you, late. Formulate. Formulate means to create or develop something systematically. In the story, it was used here. Inquisitive questioning. Formulate and pose questions to clarify any uncertainties and deepen comprehension. An example could be, the team formulated a strategy to improve customer engagement. Pose, it's pronounced pose. It means to present or ask, especially a question. In the story, it was used this way. Formulate and pose questions to clarify any uncertainties and deepen comprehension. Another example could be, she posed an important question during the discussion. Uncertainties, uncertainties, uncertainties. Uncertainties. It means uncertain. It means doubts or unknowns. 
and in the story it was used here. Formulate and pose questions to clarify any uncertainties and deepen comprehension. Another example could be, the team addressed all uncertainties before finalizing the plan. Deepen, deep N, deepen. It means to make or become more intense or thorough, thorough. In the story, it was used here. Pose questions to clarify any uncertainties and deepen comprehension. An example sentence could be, the training session helped deepen our understanding of the new software. Comprehension, com pre hen shun comprehension. Comprehension means understanding or grasping something. In the story, it was used here. Pose questions to clarify any uncertainties and deepen comprehension. Here's an example sentence. The manager checked the team's comprehension of the new policies. Articulate. R tick you late. Articulate. Articulate means to express something clearly and effectively. In the story, it was used here. Articulate the speaker's message in your own words to verify and reinforce your understanding. An example sentence could be, she could articulate her ideas clearly during the meeting. Verify, ver, if, I, verify. Verify means to confirm the truth or accuracy of something. In the story, it was here. Articulate the speaker's message in your own words to verify and reinforce your understanding. An example could be, the manager verified the data before making a decision. Reinforce. Re-in-force. Reinforce. Reinforce means to strengthen or support something. In the story, it was used here. Articulate the speaker's message in your own words to verify and reinforce your understanding. An example could be the training program reinforce the company's commitment to quality. All right, we got through paragraph five of the eloquent level. Now let's go through and repeat paragraph five. Now that we know all these words, now that we're confident in the pronunciation, we're confident in what they mean, we've used these words, and we have said all of this out loud, now we should be able to go to paragraph five and say it with confidence. Say it with me. Here it is, paragraph five of the eloquent level. To aid in this endeavor, Alex brought up several techniques. One, sustained eye contact. Maintain continuous eye contact to demonstrate your undivided attention and engagement. Number two, affirmative nodding. Employ nodding to convey understanding and acknowledgement of the speaker's points. Number three, inquisitive questioning. Formulate and pose questions to clarify any uncertainties and deepen comprehension. Paraphrasing. Articulate the speaker's message in your own words to verify and reinforce your understanding. <laughs> say it. Say it with me. Let's move on and go to the basic English level, paragraph six, and take that paragraph and climb to the ladder of fluency. Here we go. Paragraph six of the basic English level. The team started using these techniques in their meetings. At first, it was not easy. Some people were shy and others forgot to use the techniques. But Alex reminded them gently. So in paragraph six, there was not really only one word that I'm going to go through in paragraph six. And that's the word reminded. 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 
Reminded means told someone to remember something they may have forgotten. In the story, it was Alex reminded them gently. An example sentence could be, the boss reminded everyone about the upcoming deadline. Now, if you would like to repeat paragraph six, please do so. I just said it. You can rewind the video and you have it here. But let me just do it. I'll do it for you here. So paragraph six in the basic English level, and then I'll go straight to paragraph six in the advanced level. So paragraph six is here in the basic level. The team started using these techniques in their meetings. At first, it was not easy. Some people were shy and others forgot to use the techniques. But Alex reminded them gently. And now, if we go to paragraph six of the advanced level, as we climb our ladder of fluency, here it is. The team began implementing these techniques in their meetings. At the outset, it was quite challenging. Some members were reluctant, while others neglected to employ the techniques. Nevertheless, Alex offered gentle reminders. Let's take a look at my deep learning method. For these really interesting vocabulary words in paragraph six of the advanced level. Implementing, implementing, implementing. Implementing means putting a plan or a decision into effect. In the story, it was here. The team began implementing these techniques in their meetings. An example could be, a company is implementing a new strategy. Outset. Outset. Outset means the beginning or start of something. In the story, it was, at the outset, it was quite challenging. An example sentence could be, at the outset of this project, the goals were unclear. Reluctant. 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 Reluctant means hesitant or unwilling to do something. In the story, it was here. Some members were reluctant. An example sentence could be, she was reluctant to share her ideas in the meeting. Neglected. 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 Neglected means failed to care for or give attention to something. In the story, it was here. Others neglected to employ the techniques. An example could be, the team neglected to follow the new procedure. Employ. Employ has different meanings, so here's a really good one. Employ. Employ. It means to use or apply something. In the story, it was here. Others neglected to employ the techniques. And another example could be the company employs several strategies to boost sales. Nevertheless, never the less, nevertheless, <laughs> is a really nice word. And it means in spite of that, however, and in the story it was nevertheless, Alex offered gentle reminders. An example could be, the deadline was tight. Nevertheless, the team delivered on time. Gentle. <laughs> gentle. Gentle. I'm sure many of you know this, but gentle is the pronunciation, and it means soft or mild in approach. In the story, it was, Alex offered gentle reminders. An example sentence could be, the manager's gentle reminders kept the team on track. Okay, we got through the advanced level vocabulary for paragraph six. Now let's go through the paragraph again. Let's use that vocabulary we just went through. Here it is. The team began implementing these techniques in their meetings. At the outset, it was quite challenging. Some members were reluctant, while others neglected to employ the techniques. Nevertheless, Alex offered gentle reminders. 
Okay. Of course, I want you to say this with me. Now, let's climb that ladder of fluency, get up to that top level, <laughs> the eloquent level, and go through paragraph six together. I'll read you the story. We'll go through the vocabulary. We'll go through the story again. Here we go. Here's paragraph six in the eloquent level. The team began integrating these methodologies into their meetings. At the outset, the process proved to be quite arduous. Certain members were reticent, while others failed to employ the techniques consistently. Nonetheless, Alex offered nuanced reminders to ensure adherence. Oh, that level, that level of eloquence. <laughs> Let's go through these great words and try to figure out what they mean. And let's try to get comfortable with them so that we can go through this a few times and become very, very comfortable with it. Are you ready? Here we are at the eloquent level, paragraph six. Integrating. In. To. Great. Teen. Integrating. Integrating means combining or incorporating parts into a whole. In the story, it was used like this. The team began integrating these methodologies into their meetings. An example sentence could be, the company is integrating new technologies to streamline operations. Methodologies. Method. All. A. Uh, geez. Methodologies. Methodologies means a system of methods or principles used in a particular area. In the story, it was used this way. The team began integrating these methodologies into their meetings. An example sentence could be, the team adopted new methodologies to improve project management. Outset. Outset. Outset means the beginning or start of something. In the story, and we just did this, I realized that, but some of you may have gone ahead. So in the story, it means at the outset, the process proved to be quite arduous. <laughs> An example sentence could be, from the outset, the project faced several challenges. <laughs> means the same thing. Arduous. Ard, Jew, us. Arduous. Arduous means requiring much effort, difficult, tiring. So in the story, again, it was at the outset, the process proved to be quite arduous. An example sentence could be, completing the project under tight deadlines was an arduous task. Reticent. ret i -cent. Reticent. Reticent means unwilling to share thoughts or feelings. Reserved. In the story, like shy. In the story, it means certain members were reticent, while others failed to employ the techniques consistently. An example sentence could be, the new employee was reticent during the first few meetings. Failed to. Failed, failed to. It means did not succeed in doing something. In the story, it was used this way. Certain members were reticent, while others failed to employ the techniques consistently. An example sentence could be, he failed to meet the project deadline. Consistently. Con, sis, tent, lee. Consistently. Consistently means in a reliable and uniform manner. In the story, it was used this way. Certain members were reticent, while others failed to employ the techniques consistently. Another example could be, she consistently delivered high quality work. Nonetheless, just like it looks, nonetheless. Nonetheless means... Despite that, however, in the story it is nonetheless, 
Alex offered nuanced reminders to ensure adherence. An example sentence could be, the deadline was tight, but they completed the project nonetheless. Nuanced. I like my crazy pronunciation guide here. Nuanced. Nuanced. Yes, that's how it's pronounced. Nuanced. Subtle. If you don't know subtle, look it up. It's a great word. Don't pronounce the B. Subtle and often not obvious. In the story, it was used this way. Nonetheless, Alex offered nuanced reminders to ensure adherence. An example sentence could be, his nuanced approach helped resolve the conflict. Reminders. 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 Reminders are notices or prompts to remember something. In the story, it was used this way. Nonetheless, Alex offered nuanced reminders to ensure adherence. Another example could be, the team received regular reminders about the upcoming deadline. Adherence. <laughs> Again, my pronunciation guide. Add here and then ants, like little ants going around. Adherence. That's what I feel. That's what I feel I say when I say that word. So adherence means the act of sticking to a rule or commitment. In the story, it was used this way. Alex offered nuanced reminders to ensure adherence. An example sentence could be, strict adherence to the guidelines is essential for compliance. Okay, we got through paragraph six of the eloquent level. Now let's use those words. Say this paragraph with me. Here we go, paragraph six again. The team began integrating these methodologies into their meetings. At the outset, the process proved quite arduous. Certain members were reticent, while others failed to employ the techniques consistently. Nonetheless, Alex offered nuanced reminders to ensure adherence. Fantastic. <laughs> Paragraph six. Now, let's go back down to the basic level and get an idea what this paragraph means. That's why we started the basic level, so you can understand what this paragraph means before we go to the, before we climb the ladder of fluency. Okay, so here's paragraph seven from the basic level. After a few weeks, things started to change. Meetings were shorter and more productive. Team members understood their tasks better and made fewer mistakes. Sarah said, I feel heard now. It makes a big difference. So there aren't too many <laughs> words to go through in paragraph seven, but let's go through these two words. Productive, productive, productive is the way that's pronounced. So productive means achieving a lot, especially in terms of work being done. In the story, it was used this way. Meetings were shorter and more productive. An example sentence could be, the team was very productive, finishing the project ahead of time. Heard. Heard with a bunch of Ds. Heard. This is a good word and confusing to many, but it just, as Sarah said, nobody's listening to her. So the definition means listen to or paid attention to. And in the story, it was used this way, where Sarah said, I feel heard now. It makes a big difference. An example sentence could be, she felt heard when her manager addressed her concerns. Okay, so that was our basic English level as we go through. <laughs> so now let's climb our ladder of fluency and let's go to the advanced level and go through paragraph seven. Here it is. After several weeks, noticeable improvements began to manifest. 
Meetings became more concise and efficient. Team members gained a clear understanding of their responsibilities and made fewer mistakes. Sarah remarked, I feel truly acknowledged now. It makes a substantial difference. You feel that difference between the basic level and the advanced level? How these words get significantly more difficult? That's why I'm going through using this technique. And I know this is different than the first two times. But I find this really, really works well. To be able to go through and, and, and get a real feeling for these paragraphs and understand what's going on with them. And that's what I want you to be able to do. So that's what we're trying to do. And we'll go through the vocabulary in paragraph seven. Noticeable. No, tis, a, bell. Noticeable. Noticeable means easy to see or observe. In the story, it means noticeable improvements began to manifest. Another example could be, there was a noticeable improvement in team performance. Manifest. man a fest Manifest. It means to become visible or apparent. You can see it. In the story, it means, or it was used as noticeable improvements began to manifest. Another example could be the benefits of training began to manifest quickly. Concise. Concise is the way that's pronounced. So concise. Concise is a fantastic word, and it means brief and to the point. You don't need 400 words. Just use three and be concise. In the story, it was used this way. Meetings became more concise and efficient. An example sentence could be, the report was concise, covering all key points. Gained. 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 It means acquired or obtained. And in the story, it was used this way. Team members gained a clear understanding of their responsibilities. An example sentence could be, he gained valuable experience during the internship. Remarked. Remarked. <laughs> to me, it sounds like a T at the end. Remarked. Remarked means commented or said something. In the story, it was used as Sarah remarked. I feel truly acknowledged now. An example sentence could be, she remarked on the team's progress during the meeting. Acknowledged. 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 Acknowledged means recognized or admitted. In the story, it was used as, I truly feel acknowledged now. An example sentence could be, the company acknowledged the employee's hard work. Substantial. 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 Substantial means large or significant in amount or importance. In the story, it was used as, it makes a substantial difference. An example sentence could be, the project required a substantial investment of time and resources. There is the vocabulary for paragraph seven of our advanced level. Should we review paragraph seven again? Now that you have a great understanding, you've used my deep learning method, let's do it. Say this with me, paragraph seven of the advanced level. After several weeks, noticeable improvements began to manifest. Meetings became more concise and efficient. Team members gained a clear understanding of their responsibilities and made fewer mistakes. Sarah remarked, I feel truly acknowledged now. It makes a substantial difference. Okay, now let's climb our ladder of fluency. Go to paragraph seven of the eloquent level. Here's paragraph seven of the eloquent level. After several weeks, the about face was evident. Meetings became more succinct and potent. 
team members developed a more precise understanding of their responsibilities and committed significantly fewer errors. Sarah remarked, I feel genuinely acknowledged now. It has culminated in a markedly enhanced outcome. <laughs> Let's go through. <laughs> the deep learning method for paragraph seven <laughs> of this really great <laughs> level here. <laughs> About face about face. It means a complete change of direction or attitude. In the story, it was used this way. After several weeks, the about face was evident. An example could be, the company made an about face in its strategy after the merger. Evident. Ev-i-dent. Evident. Evident. Evident means clearly seen or understood. Obvious. In the story, it means after several weeks, the about face was evident. An example sentence could be, the benefits of the new system were evident in the quarterly results. Culminated. Cul min a tid. Culminated. Culminated means to be finished with something. In the story, it was used in this sentence. It has culminated in a markedly enhanced outcome. Another example could be their hard work culminated with increased sales. Succinct. 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 Succinct means brief and clearly expressed. In the story, it was used this way. Meetings became more succinct and potent. An example sentence could be, the CEO gave a succinct summary of the company's achievements. Potent. 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 Potent means powerful or effective. In the story, it was used this way. Meetings became more succinct and potent. An example sentence could be, the presentation was potent and persuaded the board to approve the project. Precise. Pre precise. 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 It means exact, accurate, and careful about details. In the story, it was used this way. Team members developed a more precise understanding of their responsibilities. Another example could be the instructions were precise, leaving no room for confusion. Markedly. Mark, Ed, Lee. Markedly. Markedly means noticeably or significantly. In the story, it was used like this. It has culminated in a markedly enhanced outcome. An example sentence could be, sales figures have improved markedly since the new strategy was implemented. Great. We got through my deep learning method for the eloquent level of paragraph seven. Now let's go through and use these words in this paragraph. You know the pronunciation, you know how to use it, so let's do it. Here it is, paragraph seven. After several weeks, the about face was evident. Meetings became more succinct and potent. Team members developed a more precise understanding of their responsibilities and committed significantly fewer errors. Sarah remarked, I feel genuinely acknowledged now. It has culminated in a markedly enhanced outcome. Fantastic. <laughs> At this point, let's go back down to the bottom of the ladder or go to the basic English level and get an understanding of what paragraph eight is all about. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we are at the basic level. Let's really understand what this paragraph is and then we'll climb the ladder of fluency. One day during a team meeting, Alex asked, can anyone share how active listening has helped them? Mark, another team member said, 
I used to miss important details because I was thinking about my reply. Now, I listen fully and ask questions. It has helped me understand my tasks better. In this basic level, I'm going to go through one word and only one word in here. And the word is reply. 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 And reply means a response to a question or statement. In the story, it was used here. I used to miss important details because I was thinking about my reply. Another example could be, he paused before giving his reply to the client. Now, let's move forward and let's climb our ladder of fluency and let's go to the same paragraph eight. We'll go from the basic level here. Let's go up to the advanced level. Here it is. During a subsequent team meeting, Alex inquired, can anyone share how the practice of active listening has benefited them? Mark, another team member, replied, I used to miss crucial details because I was preoccupied with formulating my response. Now, I listen attentively and ask clarifying questions which has significantly enhanced my understanding of my tasks. Okay, let's go through this a little bit more difficult advanced level of paragraph eight. And once again, we'll go through and use my deep learning method. And again, I want you to say all of these words out loud with me. I want these words to feel comfortable. I want you to be confident. Let's do it. Subsequent. 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 Subsequent means following in time or order. In the story, it was used here. During a subsequent team meeting, Alex inquired. Another example sentence could be, Subsequent meetings will focus on implementation strategies. Inquired. In, quired, d. Inquired. Inquired means asked for information. In the story, it was here. Alex inquired, can anyone share how? Another example could be, he inquired about the status of the project. The practice of something. Practice, the practice of something. You know practice, but do you know this term, the practice of something? Well, it means the repeated exercise of an activity to improve a skill. In the story, it was used this way. The practice of active listening has benefited them. Another example could be the practice of regular feedback improved team dynamics. Benefited. Ben, uh, fit, tid. Benefited. Benefited. And it means, benefited means gained an advantage or profit. In the story, it was used this way. The practice of active listening has benefited them. Another example could be, the company benefited from the new marketing strategy. Replied. I just saw replied. Those of you that skipped ahead, I'm going to do it again. Replied means responded or answered. In the story, it was said this way. Mark replied, I used to miss crucial details. Another example could be, he replied to the client's email promptly. Crucial. 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 Crucial means extremely important or essential. In the story, it was here. I used to miss crucial details. Another example could be meeting deadlines is crucial for project success. Preoccupied. Great word. Pre -oc -u -pi -d. Preoccupied. Preoccupied means absorbed in thought, often missing other things. In the story, it was used here. 
I was preoccupied with formulating my response. An example many of you might be able to relate to. He was too preoccupied with his phone to notice the meeting starting. Formulating. Form, you, lay, teen. Formulating. Formulating means creating or devising something carefully. In the story, it was used here. I was preoccupied with formulating my response. Another example could be the team is formulating a new business strategy. Attentively. A tent tiv li. Attentively. Attentively means with careful attention. In the story, it was here. Now I listen attentively and ask clarifying questions. Another example could be, he listened attentively during the presentation. Clarifying. Claire, if, I, in. Clarifying. Clarifying means making something clear or easier to understand. In the story, it was ask clarifying questions to ensure understanding. Another example could be, she asked clarifying questions to avoid confusion. There's one of my favorite words, significantly. 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 Significantly means to a great extent or importantly. In the story, it was, this has significantly enhanced my understanding. Another example could be, sales increased significantly after the new product launch. Enhanced. Enhanced. <laughs> Enhanced. Enhanced means improved or made better. This is how it was used in the story. This has significantly enhanced my understanding. Another example could be the training program enhanced employees' skills. We've gone through <laughs> my deep learning process for the vocabulary in paragraph eight of the advanced level. Now let's go back to that paragraph eight in this advanced level. Put this together, say this with me. Here we go. During a subsequent team meeting, Alex inquired, can anyone share how the practice of active listening has benefited them? Mark, another team member, replied, I used to miss crucial details because I was preoccupied with formulating my response. Now, I listen attentively and ask clarifying questions, which has significantly enhanced my understanding of my tasks. I hope that makes a lot more sense at this point as we go through this process. So we've been through the basic level of paragraph eight, climb the ladder of fluency to the advanced level, paragraph eight. Now, we're on the top again of <laughs> the eloquent level of paragraph eight. Here we go. During a subsequent team meeting, Alex posed the question. Can anyone elaborate on how active listening has proved advantageous for them? Mark, a fellow team member, replied, I previously overlooked critical details as I was engrossed in preparing my response. Now, I engage in thorough listening and seek clarification, which has profoundly augmented my understanding of assignments. That's the eloquent level that we know and love. <laughs> okay, let's dig deep through my deep learning method of these great words, terms, and phrases of paragraph eight <laughs> in the eloquent level. Okay, here's our vocabulary. Subsequent, sub, su, quent, subsequent. Subsequent means following in time or order, or coming after. In the story, it was used here. During a subsequent team meeting, Alex posed the question. Another example could be the subsequent meeting focused on evaluating the project's success. Posed. 
posed. Posed. It means asked or presented a question or problem. In the story, it was here. During a subsequent team meeting, Alex posed the question. Another example could be she posed a challenging question to the team. Elaborate. Elaborate is L elaborate. Elaborate. Elaborate means to explain or describe in detail. In the story, it was here. Can anyone elaborate on how active listening has proved advantageous for them? An example could be he was asked to elaborate on his proposal during the meeting. Proved advantageous. These don't always have to go together, but they fit beautifully here. So proved advantageous. Proved advantageous. Proved advantageous means shown to be beneficial or helpful. In the story, it was here. Can anyone elaborate on how active listening has proved advantageous for them? Another example could be the new software proved advantageous in increasing productivity. Previously. Pre. V. Us. Lee. Previously. Previously means before the current time or situation. In the story, it was here. I previously overlooked critical details as I was engrossed in preparing my response. Another example could be she had previously worked in a different department before joining the team. Overlooked. Over. Looked. Overlooked means failed to notice something. In the story, it was here. I previously overlooked critical details as I was engrossed in preparing my response. Another example could be the mistake was overlooked during the initial review. Engrossed. 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 Engrossed means fully absorbed or involved in something. In the story, it was here. I was engrossed in preparing my response. An example could be, she was engrossed in the project and lost track of time. Thorough. This word gives everybody, makes them crazy because there's so many O's and U's and G-H, blah, blah, blah. It's just two sounds. Thur, O. Thorough. Thorough. That's it. Thur, O. Thorough means careful and complete in every detail. In the story, it was here. Now I engage in thorough listening and seek clarification. Another example could be a thorough analysis of the data led to better decision making. Seek. Just like it says, seek. It means to search for or try to obtain something. In the story, it was used here. Now I engage in thorough listening and seek clarification. An example could be the manager encouraged the team to seek new opportunities for growth. Profoundly. 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 Profoundly means deeply or greatly. In the story, it means this. This has profoundly augmented my understanding of assignments. Another example could be the new approach profoundly impacted the company's culture. Augmented. 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 Augmented means increased or enhanced. In the story, it was here. This has profoundly augmented my understanding of assignments. Another example could be the budget was augmented to cover additional marketing costs. Okay, we got through the deep learning of this paragraph eight. <laughs> In the eloquent level. Now let's go back to the paragraph and do this one more time. 
During a subsequent team meeting, Alex posed the question, can anyone elaborate on how active listening has proved advantageous for them? Mark, a fellow team member, replied, I previously overlooked critical details as I was engrossed in preparing my response. Now I engage in thorough listening and seek clarification, which has profoundly augmented my understanding of assignments. I want you to say this with me. Say it out loud. Say it proud. Say it with confidence. Again, don't just learn this stuff. Use it. Say it. Enjoy it. Now, let's go back down. A ladder of fluency. We'll go to paragraph nine in the basic level and see what that paragraph's all about. Here we are at the basic level, paragraph nine. The team agreed that active listening had improved their work. They felt more connected and respected. Alex was happy to see the positive changes. He knew that good communication was the key to a successful team. Again, in this basic level, I've just chosen one word to go through, and that word is respected. 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 It means admired or valued by others. In the story, it was here. They felt more connected and respected. Another example could be employees who feel respected are often more motivated at work. Let's go from here. Climb the ladder of fluency to the advanced level of paragraph nine. The team unanimously concurred that the practice of active listening had markedly enhanced their work. They felt a greater sense of connection and respect among one another. Alex was gratified to observe these positive developments, recognizing that effective communication was indispensable for the team's success. <laughs> ah, so good. <laughs> Let's take a look at my deep learning method as we go through these vocabulary words in paragraph nine. Unanimously. <laughs> Just watch my pronunciation guide here. You, nam, i, Usly, unanimously, unanimously. Now, this one doesn't make a lot of sense, but follow my pronunciation. Unanimously, unanimously, unanimously. Unanimously means with complete agreement. In the story, it was used here. The team unanimously concurred that Another example could be the board unanimously approved the new policy. Concurred. 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 Concurred means agreed. In the story, it was here. The team unanimously concurred that active listening. Another example could be the team members concurred on the decision. Markedly. Mark, Ed, Lee. Markedly. Markedly means noticeably or significantly. In the story, it was here. The practice of active listening had markedly enhanced their work. An example could be the results improved markedly after the changes. Gratified. Grat, if, I'd. Gratified. Gratified means pleased or satisfied. In the story, it was used here. Alex was gratified to observe these positive developments. An example could be, the manager was gratified by the team's success. Indispensable. 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 Indispensable means absolutely necessary or essential. In the story, 
It was used here, recognizing that effective communication was indispensable for the team's success. Another example could be effective leadership is indispensable to the company's growth. We got through paragraph nine (laughs) of the advanced level. Let me give it to you one more time. Paragraph nine. The team unanimously concurred that the practice of active listening had markedly enhanced their work. They felt a greater sense of connection and respect among one another. Alex was gratified to observe these positive developments, recognizing that effective communication was indispensable to the team's success. Now, let's climb that last bit of the ladder to the eloquent level. Okay, we did paragraph nine at the advanced level. Let's climb that ladder of fluency. Get up to your favorite eloquent level. Here's paragraph nine. The team collectively concurred that active listening had enriched their work. They felt more interconnected and respected. Alex was gratified to witness the positive developments. He recognized that effective communication served as the linchpin to the team's success. Uh, Let's go through. These great vocabulary words in the eloquent level for paragraph nine. Concurred. 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 Concurred means agreed with, a statement or opinion. In the story, it was used in this sentence. The team collectively concurred that active listening had enriched their work. Another example could be The board members concurred with the CEO's strategy. Enriched. Enriched. I feel a T when I say this. I know it ends in ED, but enriched. Enriched means improved or enhanced in quality. In the story, it was in this sentence. The team collectively concurred that active listening had enriched their work. An example could be, the training program enriched employees' skills. Interconnected. 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 Interconnected means linked or related to each other. In the story, it was used here. They felt more interconnected and respected. Example sentence could be, The departments are more interconnected since the reorganization. Gratified. Grat. If. I'd. Gratified. Gratified. Gratified means satisfied or pleased. In the story, it was used here. Alex was gratified to witness the positive developments. An example sentence could be, the CEO is gratified with the company's strong quarterly performance. Witness. 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 Witness means to see or observe an event or situation. It's a good verb to witness something. So in the story, it was used this way. Alex was gratified to witness the positive developments. An example could be, we witnessed a significant improvement in team collaboration. Lynchpin, great word. Lynchpin, just like the word inch, lynch, lynchpin. Lynchpin means something that is vital or essential for success. In the story, it was here. He recognized that effective communication served as the linchpin for the team's success. Another example could be leadership is the linchpin of the company's success. (laughs) Okay, we've been through my deep learning vocabulary. Let's use it. Say this with me. Paragraph nine again of the eloquent level. The team collectively concurred that active listening had enriched their work. They felt more interconnected and respected. 
Alex was gratified to witness the positive developments. He recognized that effective communication served as the linchpin for the team's success. Ah, so good. Let's go now. Back down the ladder and let's go through paragraph 10 and climb that ladder of fluency together. Okay, here we are at the basic level, paragraph 10. As time went on, the company continued to grow. The team's improved listening skills helped them achieve great results. They became known not only for their hard work, but also for their excellent communication. Alex's decision to focus on active listening had made a big difference. Let's go through these words at the basic level and go through my deep learning vocabulary method. As time went on, it's just a nice phrase. There's nothing complicated about these words, but it just means as time passed or as time continued. So in the story, it was used as time went on, the company continued to grow. An example could be, as time went on, the team became more skilled at their tasks. Achieve. Achieve. Achieve is the pronunciation. And achieve means to successfully reach a goal or result. In the story, it was in this sentence. The team's improved listening skills help them achieve great results. Another example could be, the company achieved its sales targets for the year. Became known. Another phrase, became known. <laughs> became known. It means came to be recognized or came to be identified. In the story, it was used in this sentence. They became known not only for their hard work, but also for their excellent communication. Another example could be, the company became known for its innovative products. We have <laughs> gone through paragraph 10 at the basic level. Let's climb now to the advanced level for paragraph 10. Here is the advanced level. As time passed, the company continued to thrive. The team's enhanced listening skills contributed to their outstanding achievements. They gained recognition not only for their hard work, but also for their excellent communication. Alex's decision to emphasize active listening had a profound impact. <laughs> oh, that advanced level is so good. Should we go through my deep learning process? <laughs> On paragraph 10, here we are. Thrive. Thrive. Thrive means to grow and succeed. In the story, it was used here. As time passed, the company continued to thrive. Another example could be, the startup thrived in the competitive market. Outstanding. Outstanding has different definitions, but this one means exceptionally good. In the story, it means the team's enhanced listening skills contributed to their outstanding achievements. An example sentence could be, she received an award for her outstanding performance. Recognition. 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 Recognition means acknowledgement or praise for achievements. In the story, it was used in this sentence. They gained recognition 
not only for their hard work. An example could be the employee received recognition for her innovative ideas. Emphasize. M -f size. Emphasize. Emphasize means to give special importance to something. In the story, it was used here. Alex's decision to emphasize active listening had a profound impact. Another example sentence could be, the manager emphasized the need for teamwork. Profound. Pro, found. Profound means very great or intense. In the story, it was here. Emphasize active listening had a profound impact. Another example could be the new policy had a profound impact on company culture. So let's go say paragraph 10 again with me. Now that we've been through the deep learning vocabulary, here's paragraph 10 at the advanced level. As time passed, the company continued to thrive. The team's enhanced listening skills contributed to their outstanding achievements. They gained recognition not only for their hard work, but also for their excellent communication. Alex's decision to emphasize active listening had a profound impact. Ha! Ah, that feels better after we go through. You know, after we go through the deep learning method with it, it really makes it feel better, right? <laughs> That's what the point of this video is. <laughs> so let's now climb that ladder of fluency and get to paragraph 10 at the eloquent level. Here it is. As the years unfolded, the company continued to flourish reaching unparalleled heights of success and recognition. The team's enhanced listening skills facilitated their remarkable achievements. They garnered acclaim not only for their diligence, but also for their exemplary communication. Alex's decision to prioritize active listening had a profound impact. Aha! <laughs> Let's dive into the deep learning method and go through all of this great vocabulary, these great words, terms, and phrases in paragraph 10. Here's our vocabulary at the eloquent level for paragraph 10. Flourish, fleur ish. Doesn't look like that, but it's pronounced fleur ish. Flourish. Flourish means to grow or develop successfully. In the story, it was used here. As the years unfolded, the company continued to flourish. An example could be, the startup flourished after receiving significant investments. Unparalleled heights. Unparalleled heights. Heights. Unparalleled heights. Unparalleled heights means a level of success that has not been matched. In the story, it was here. The company continued to flourish, reaching unparalleled heights of success. An example could be the campaign led the brand to unparalleled heights in the market. Facilitated. Facilitated. Fa sil i te tid. Facilitated. Facilitated. Facilitated means made an action or process easier. In the story, it was here. The team's enhanced listening skills facilitated their remarkable accomplishments. An example could be the new software facilitated faster communication among team members. Remarkable. 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 Remarkable means worthy of attention. Extraordinary. In the story, it was here. The team's enhanced listening skills 
facilitated their remarkable accomplishments. Another example could be the company achieved remarkable growth this year. Garnered. Gar, nerd, garnered. Garnered means collected or gain, especially attention or approval. In the story, it was here. They garnered acclaim, not only for their diligence, but also for their exemplary communication. Another example could be the product launch garnered significant media coverage. Acclaim, a claim, a claim. A claim means praise or approval, often publicly given. In the story, it was in this sentence. They garnered a claim, not only for their diligence, but also for their exemplary communication. An example could be the CEO received widespread acclaim for his leadership. Diligence. Dil a gents. Diligence. Diligence. Diligence means persistent and careful work or effort. In the story, it was used here. They garnered acclaim, not only for their diligence, but also for their exemplary communication. An example could be the team's diligence paid off with a successful project completion. Exemplary. 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 Exemplary means serving as a desirable model. Outstanding. In the story, it was here. They garnered acclaim, not only for their diligence, but also for their exemplary communication. Here's another example sentence. Her exemplary work earned her the Employee of the Month Award. Prioritize. Pri or a ties. Pri or a ties. Prioritize. Prioritize means to arrange or deal with in order of importance. In the story, it was here. Alex's decision to prioritize active listening had a profound impact. An example could be the manager decided to prioritize customer feedback in the product development process. Profound. Pro, found. Profound. It means very great or intense. In the story, it was here. Alex's decision to prioritize active listening had a profound impact. An example could be the profound changes in the company's structure led to greater efficiency. Okay, <laughs> we just went through my deep learning method for all of this great vocabulary in the eloquent level paragraph 10. So let's do this paragraph again right here. Say it with me, say it proud. As the years unfolded, the company continued to flourish reaching unparalleled heights of success and recognition. The team's enhanced listening skills facilitated their remarkable accomplishments. They garnered acclaim, not only for their diligence, but also for their exemplary communication. Alex's decision to prioritize active listening had a profound impact. Ah, so beautiful. Okay, we're through 10 of the 11 paragraphs now. Back to the bottom, back to the basic English level for our final paragraph. Paragraph 11. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's our paragraph 11 at the basic level. In the end, team success truly lived up to its name. They showed that by listening to each other, and working together, they could overcome any challenge. And that, dear friends, is the story of how a simple act of listening transformed a company. Let's go through 
some of these words in our basic English level to make sure that we're comfortable with these. So here's my deep learning method for the basic English level, for paragraph 11. In the end, now there's nothing complicated with these words, obviously, but it's a nice phrase that's like, okay, after all of this has happened, now, so in the end means finally, after everything has been considered or everything happened. In the story, it was used here. In the end, team success truly lived up to its name. Another example could be, in the end, the team's hard work paid off. Lived up. Lived up. Lived up means fulfilled or met the expectations. In the story, it was used like this. Team success truly lived up to its name. Another example could be the product lived up to the customer's expectations. Overcome. Again, not difficult to pronounce, but confusing to most. So overcome. Overcome means successfully dealt with or it defeated a, a challenge, it solved a problem. In the story, it was used here. They could overcome any challenge. Another example could be the team overcame many obstacles to complete the project. Overcame being past tense of overcome. Transformed, transformed, not transform ed, but transformed. And it means completely changed, usually for the better. In the story, it was used here. A simple act of listening transformed a company. An example sentence could be, the new strategy transformed the company's performance. Okay, let's go back and do this paragraph again at the basic English level. Paragraph 11, in the end, Team success truly lived up to its name. They showed that by listening to each other and working together, they could overcome any challenge. And that, dear friends, is the story of how a simple act of listening transformed a company. Let's move forward, climb that ladder of fluency, and get up to the advanced level. Let's look at paragraph 11 in the advanced level, okay? So here's paragraph 11 in the advanced level. Ultimately, team success exemplified its name by actively listening to each other and working collaboratively, they overcame numerous challenges. This, dear friends, is the story of how a simple act of listening transformed an entire company. A lot of similarities to the basic level, but some more difficult words in here. Let's go through my deep learning process and take a look at the vocabulary in paragraph 11 of the advanced level. Okay, here's our deep learning method for the vocabulary in paragraph 11 of the advanced level. Ultimately, ultimately, ultimately. Ultimately. Ultimately means in the end or finally. In the story, it was used here. Ultimately, team success exemplified its name. An example could be, ultimately, the project was a success. Exemplified. X, M, pl, I'd. Exemplified. Exemplified. Exemplified means served as a typical example of something. In the story, it was here. Ultimately, team success exemplified its name. Another example could be the team exemplified excellent customer service. Overcame. Overcame. It means successfully dealt with or got past something. In the story, 
It was in this part of a sentence. They overcame numerous challenges. Another example could be the team overcame many obstacles to meet the deadline. Transformed. 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 Transform means completely changed, often for the better. In the story, it was here. A simple act of listening transformed an entire company. Another example could be the new strategy transformed the business. That's the deep learning method for paragraph 11 of the advanced level. Let's read that paragraph 11 again. Say it with me this time. Now you should be confident in this vocabulary. Here we go. Ultimately, team success exemplified its name. By actively listening to each other and working collaboratively, they overcame numerous challenges. This, dear friends, is the story of how a simple act of listening transformed an entire company. Ah, so good. Okay, let's move on. Climb that ladder of fluency for our last paragraph at the top of the ladder, the eloquent level. Paragraph 11, this is it. Ultimately, team success epitomized its name by actively listening to one another and collaborating harmoniously. They surmounted numerous challenges. This, esteemed colleagues, is the narrative of how a simple act of listening revolutionized an entire company. <laughs> there is your, <laughs> your paragraph 11. Shall we go through my deep learning method with these words? Let's do it. Here's our last paragraph. Ultimately, ultimately, ultimately. Ultimately means in the end, eventually. In the story, it was here. Ultimately, team success epitomized its name. An example could be, ultimately, a project was completed successfully, despite the challenges. Epitomized. Pay attention to my crazy vocabulary method or my crazy pronunciation method here. Ah, pit, ah, mized, epitomized, epitomized. Epitomized means to be a perfect example of something. In the story, it was here. Ultimately, team success epitomized its name. Another example could be the new policy epitomized the company's commitment to innovation. Harmoniously. 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 Harmoniously means in a way that is peaceful and cooperative. In the story, it was here. By active listening to one another, and collaborating harmoniously, they surmounted numerous challenges. An example could be the team worked harmoniously to achieve their goals. Surmounted. Sir, mounted. Surmounted. Surmounted means overcame or dealt successfully with. In the story, it was here. By actively listening to one another, and collaborating harmoniously, they surmounted numerous challenges. An example could be, the company surmounted several obstacles to become a market leader. Numerous. New, mer, us. Numerous. Numerous means many or a large number of. In the story, it was here. By actively listening to one another and collaborating harmoniously, they surmounted numerous challenges. Another example could be the project faced numerous delays due to unforeseen issues. Esteemed. 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 
Esteemed means respected and admired. The story, it was here. This, esteemed colleagues, is the narrative of how a simple act of listening revolutionized an entire company. Another example could be the CEO is an esteemed leader in the industry. Narrative. 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 Narrative means a story or account of events. In the story, it was here. This, esteemed colleagues, is the narrative of how a simple act of listening revolutionized an entire company. Another example could be, the book provides a compelling narrative of the company's rise to success. Are you ready? Are you still here? Put in the comments if you're still here that you got to the last word. <laughs> the last deep learning method or the last word in this long, long video. Type revolutionized in the comments so I can see <laughs> somebody went through this video. Okay, there's your challenge. Type revolutionized in the comments. You don't need to say anything else. We'll all know what that means. Revolutionized, 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 revolutionized means completely change something, usually for the better. The story, a simple act of listening, revolutionized an entire company. Here is an example. The introduction, smartphones revolutionized the way we communicate. It sure did. There's our deep learning method for the vocabulary in the eloquent level of paragraph 11. Now, say it with me. Here's our final paragraph. Say it with me. Here we go. Ultimately, team success epitomized its name by actively listening to one another and collaborating harmoniously. They surmounted numerous challenges. This, esteemed colleagues, is the narrative of how a simple act of listening revolutionized an entire company. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> now, at the end of this video, I'm going to go through the three stories in full. So that you can really see then by going through story one, story two, and then story three, how all of this ties together. So that's what I'm going to do next. <laughs> Follow me through it. You really get a sense of going through the whole story of how you're climbing that ladder of fluency. And let's see if you can do it confidently. Okay, <laughs> join me as I start going through each of these three stories. Okay, here are the three stories. So first, I will read the full story from the basic English level. Then we will climb the ladder of fluency, and I will read the full story from the advanced level. And finally, we'll get up to the top of the ladder in the eloquent level. And I'll read the full story at the eloquent level. In this section, I'm just going to read the stories. No vocabulary. All right. Okay, here we go. The basic English level. Once upon a time, in a small city, there was an establishment named Team Success. This entity was known for its hard-working employees and friendly atmosphere. The company was managed by a man named Alex. Alex was kind and always willing to help his team. One day, Alex noticed that his team was not working as well together as they used to. Meetings were taking longer and there were misunderstandings about tasks. Alex decided to find out why. He started by listening carefully to his employees. He talked to Sarah, one of the team members. Sarah said, I often feel like no one is really listening to me during meetings. Alex realized that 
active listening was a problem. He knew he had to fix it to help his team work better. Alex called a meeting and said, I have noticed that we need to improve our listening skills. From now on, we will practice active listening. He explained that active listening means paying full attention to the speaker, not interrupting, and asking questions to understand better. To help the team practice, Alex introduced a few techniques. First, eye contact. Look at the person speaking to show you are paying attention. Second, nodding. Nod your head to show you understand. Third, asking questions. If you do not understand something, ask a question. And fourth, repeat what the speaker said in your own words to make sure you understood correctly. The team started using these techniques in their meetings. At first, it was not easy. Some people were shy, and others forgot to use the techniques. But Alex reminded them gently. After a few weeks, things started to change. Meetings were shorter and more productive. Team members understood their tasks better and made fewer mistakes. Sarah said, I feel heard now. It makes a big difference. One day, during a team meeting, Alex asked, Can anyone share how active listening has helped them? Mark, another team member, said, I used to miss important details because I was thinking about my reply. Now, I listen fully and ask questions. It has helped me understand my tasks better. The team agreed that Active listening had improved their work. They felt more connected and respected. Alex was happy to see the positive changes. He knew that good communication was the key to a successful team. As time went on, the company continued to grow. The team's improved listening skills helped them achieve great results. They became known not only for their hard work, but also for their excellent communication. Alex's decision to focus on active listening had made a big difference. In the end, team success truly lived up to its name. They showed that by listening to each other and working together, they could overcome any challenge. And that, dear friends, is the story of how a simple act of listening transformed a company. Great. Now let's move on. Climb that ladder of fluency to the advanced level. In a bustling city, there was a company named Team Success. This organization was renowned for its diligent employees and congenial atmosphere. The company was overseen by Alex, a considerate manager who was always ready to assist his team. One day, Alex observed a decline in the team's collaboration. Meetings were becoming prolonged, and task misunderstandings were increasing. Alex resolved to investigate the cause. He began by attentively listening to his employees. He conversed with Sarah, one of the team members. Sarah expressed, I frequently feel that no one truly listens to me during meetings. Alex realized that the issues stem from poor active listening. He recognized the necessity of addressing this issue to enhance team performance. Alex convened a meeting and stated, I have observed that we need to improve our listening skills. From this point forward, we will engage in the practice of active listening. He explained that active listening involves fully concentrating on the speaker avoiding interruptions, and asking questions for clarity. To facilitate this, Alex introduced several techniques. First, eye contact. Maintain eye contact to demonstrate attentiveness. Second, nodding. Nod to indicate understanding. Third, inquire if something is unclear. 
And fourth, paraphrasing. Restate the speaker's words in your own words to confirm understanding. The team began implementing these techniques in their meetings. At the outset, it was quite challenging. Some members were reluctant, while others neglected to employ the techniques. Nevertheless, Alex offered gentle reminders. After several weeks, noticeable improvements began to manifest. Meetings became more concise and efficient. Team members gained a clear understanding of their responsibilities and made fewer mistakes. Sarah remarked, I feel truly acknowledged now. It makes a substantial difference. During a subsequent team meeting, Alex inquired, Can anyone share how the practice of active listening has benefited them? Mark, another team member, replied, I used to miss crucial details because I was preoccupied with formulating my response. Now, I listen attentively and ask clarifying questions, which has significantly enhanced my understanding of my tasks. The team unanimously concurred that the practice of active listening had markedly enhanced their work. They felt a greater sense of connection and respect among one another. Alex was gratified to observe these positive developments, recognizing that effective communication was indispensable for the team's success. As time passed, the company continued to thrive. The team's enhanced listening skills contributed to their outstanding achievements. They gained recognition, not only for their hard work, but also for their excellent communication. Alex's decision to emphasize active listening had a profound impact. Ultimately, team success exemplified its name. By actively listening to each other and working collaboratively, they overcame numerous challenges. This, dear friends, is the story of how a simple act of listening transformed an entire company. <laughs> that was the advanced level. Now, the final level, the eloquent level. In a vibrant metropolis, there was a company called Team Success. This enterprise was celebrated for its industrious employees and congenial ambiance. A company was led by Alex, a benevolent manager who was perpetually willing to support his team. One day, Alex discerned a sharp decline in the team's synergy. Meetings were extending unduly, and misunderstandings regarding tasks were escalating. Alex resolved the underlying issue. He commenced by meticulously listening to his employees. He engaged in a dialogue with Sarah, one of his team members. Sarah articulated, I often perceive that no one genuinely listens to me during meetings. Alex recognized that the crux of the issue was inadequate active listening. He understood that rectifying this was imperative to augment the efficiency and efficacy of the team. Alex convened a meeting and declared, I have discerned that we must refine our listening skills. Henceforth, we shall practice active listening. He shed light on the fact that active listening entails wholly concentrating on the speaker, refraining from interruptions, and posing questions to ensure clarity. To aid in this endeavor, Alex brought up several techniques. First, sustained eye contact. Maintain continuous eye contact to demonstrate your undivided attention and engagement. Second, affirmative nodding. Employ nodding to convey understanding and acknowledgement of the speaker's points. Third, inquisitive questioning. Formulate and pose questions to clarify any uncertainties and deepen comprehension. And fourth, paraphrasing. Articulate the speaker's message in your own words to verify and reinforce your understanding. The team began integrating these methodologies into their meetings. At the outset, the process proved to be quite arduous, 
Certain members were reticent, while others failed to employ the techniques consistently. Nonetheless, Alex offered nuanced reminders to ensure adherence. After several weeks, the about face was evident. Meetings became more succinct and potent. Team members developed a more precise understanding of their responsibilities and committed significantly fewer errors. Sarah remarked, I feel genuinely acknowledged now. It has culminated in a markedly enhanced outcome. During a subsequent team meeting, Alex posed the question, can anyone elaborate on how active listening has proved advantageous for them? Mark, a fellow team member, replied, I previously overlooked critical details as I was engrossed in preparing my response. Now, I engage in thorough listening and seek clarification, which has profoundly augmented my understanding of assignments. The team collectively concurred that active listening had enriched their work. They felt more interconnected and respected. Alex was gratified to witness the positive developments. He recognized that effective communication served as the linchpin for the team's success. As the years unfolded, the company continued to flourish, reaching unparalleled heights of success and recognition. The team's enhanced listening skills facilitated their remarkable accomplishments. They garnered acclaim not only for their diligence, but also for their exemplary communication. Alex's decision to prioritize active listening had a profound impact. Ultimately, team success epitomized its name by actively listening to one another and collaborating harmoniously. They surmounted numerous challenges. This, esteemed colleagues, is the narrative of how a simple act of listening revolutionized an entire company. We did it. We got through it. <laughs> I hope you use this video to practice your speaking, to improve your confidence. Take your time through this. Watch it many times. Use it. There's a whole course in this one video. Thank you so much for listening to this. I will see you soon. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.